Welcome. What to do if you're facing a foreclosure in Canada? Yes, foreclosures happen in Canada. In the Western Canada, we utilize the word foreclosure. In the Eastern Canada, the word is utilized power of sales. Now, how many foreclosures happen in Canada? How often do they happen? We do not have an exact data, but based upon the Canadian Banker Association, the rate of default is 0.42% as we speak, and during the boom time, that rate is still intended to be fairly high though. Most of the Canadians who are holding the mortgages, <coughs> some of them are holding it under 40 year amortization and they just got those deals with the zero money down and they are the one who intend to face this type of situation more because there's not enough equity though. Now, what one can do when you're facing foreclosure? The steps are very simple but straightforward. Again, do not go in denial. When the moment you receive a letter from your bank or the lawyer, please sit down with them, check with them, say, listen, I'm going through a difficulty, I've lost a job, or I've gone through injury, and they may want to work with you. Your number one choice is the banker or the lender who is default, who has sent you a letter. Reply to them, go and sit down with them and see what can they do for you. Number two, if it happens, if you put less than 25% or 20% down payment, then you, most probably you are insured under the CMHC or high ratio mortgages we call in Canada. Now, they have different programs when people go through difficult time. You should consult them and they can create a temporary interest only payment plan or they may gonna allow you, okay, you can skip two or three payments for you. So this is the second very best defense. During this time, you need to speak and reach other people for help. Can you speak to your employer who lets you go? Let's say you are laid off. Absolutely. You can try talking to employers, human resources, and they may gonna come up with a temporary loan for you or whatever the vacation pay you have or some sort of a retirement savings plan they have for you. Remember, the moment you start defaulting, your credit score is taking a nosedive. It means you do not have a job, your credit is bad, you're gonna be in a much deeper problem. What to do next? Well, there's another thing what you can do, which is helpful. If there's a lot of equity in the house, you can refinance your mortgage. Now, sometimes it doesn't make sense, but let's say if it does make sense, and after refinancing and putting all the loans and debts into mortgage, you may gonna find you're better off because your mortgage payments and other payments are a lot less than otherwise instead of paying on the credit cards or so on. Now, what would be your last resort? Well, this is the painful one. You can speak to bankruptcy trustee and there are two things they can offer you. First, they can offer you a consumer proposal where you get to keep your house and whatever the debts you have, they may gonna ask and see if they can forgive 60 to 70% and rest of 30% of all your other debts, except mortgage, can be planned into smaller mortgage, small payments though. But again, this may or may not gonna work for you. Second thing what could be filing is simply a bankruptcy and bankruptcy is again gonna stay on your file and you have to let your house go as well. Again, speak to the bankruptcy trustee and see what option do they have. Now, depending upon how many creditors do you have, this proposing a credit pr proposal or bankruptcy, it may gonna work in your favor that you may be end up holding your house depending upon the trustee and the creditors. These are the only choices you have. What happens if you sell your house before anybody, the lender takes it or bank take over the property and sell it on the open market, whether it's a judicial sale or whether it's a power of sale? You can sell it, you can save, your for, uh, you can save yourself a hassle. Majority of the time, in my opinion, when you lose job, you don't have enough money coming in, the time is to downside, 
best thing is to consult a professional real estate investor and see what can they do for you. And you may gonna end up rent to own. There are several different programs available to real estate investors though. What happens if you lose your house through foreclosure or power sale in Canada? Well, it's gonna stay on your credit. If there's a shortfall, they will come after you and they can garnish your other assets. And then once you got a job, they can even garnish your wages though. All right, these are the options you have. We have a very special gift for you. Let Revenue Canada Agency pay down your down payment. If you want to obtain this beautiful presentation worth $500, all you have to do is go to worldwealthbuilders.com, become a member, there's no cost to it, and you will receive this information. And also you can become a free member to Canada's elite real estate investors group. Absolutely no cost to you. www.precanon.com. Please don't forget to pass this information to your family and friends. Once again, thank you.